Time is the most important thing in our life. If we miss the time, we miss the opportunity. For avoiding this, we use clocks, watches. These are mainly two types, analog and digital. Hi, myself, Rokhet Parish Madhuri, and you are watching Making of Breadboard Digital Clock. For our breadboard watch, we have a microcontroller, 28 pin, a small little breadboard, seven segment LED display digits, common cathode type, jumper wire for cathode, 220 ohm resistor for limiting the current, 10 kilo ohm resistor for switches, long jumper wires for segment connection, tactile switches, push switches. Now we are multiplexing four digits with each other and making a one four digit seven segment display using little blue jumper wires. You can see that. Now multiplexing has been done. Our four digit seven segment display is ready. We are also mounting 220 ohm resistors and connecting them with the jumper wires to the microcontroller and our 7 segment display one by one. One end of the resistor is connected to the port B pin 0 to 7 and other one to the 7 segments of display. Now we are connecting power supply pins to the microcontroller positive and negative now we are connecting push switches to the microcontroller port D pins 7 and 6 and push switches we are mounting on the breadboard we are connecting cathode pins of our display to the port C pin 5 to 2 respectively all connection for our breadboard clock has been completed and our digital breadboard clock is almost ready. Let us see simple programming in assembly language for blink port C pin 1. Okay. So first we tell the assembler we want to start it from zero of the program memory dot or zero. This is the decimal value. Zero. Then we are initialize our program. So this is the pin number, this is the direction register and this is the instruction we are giving to making it output. Pin 1 output. And then we create the main loop. And this loop we are first make this pin high, pin 1 high, LED on, ok. Then we are going to give a delay of 1 second, called delay, 1 second delay. 
ओके एंड अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू मेक इट लो लो पिन वन इज लो सो एल ई डी ऑफ अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू गिव अ डिले ऑफ वन सेकेंड वन सेकेंड डिले एंड बैक टू द मेन लुक it is happening continuously forever so that we are get we, are, we will get the blink effect on the port p a port c pin 1 so start blinking okay now another uh, loop we have over here that is delay this is a sub routine so how the delay we are going to create see first we load the value to the r0 register 4 decimal this is the decimal value and then just give the label load r1 with the value 250 and load r2 with the value 200 okay now label 3 start decrement one by one this register first r2 decrement sorry decrement r2 and check whether it is zero or not br n e branch if not equal to zero to l3 then decrement r1 check again br n e come to the l1 then decrement r0 br n e to this l l1 sorry this is the l2 and this is l1 so it is very simple one second finally we are going to give a written instruction so that we are coming out of this loop this routine so this is a one second delay we have created one second delay for 1 megahertz clock okay for the different clock the ratio will get change of this registers the value will get change so we will see that accordingly in future our breadboard digital clock is ready now we on it and we can see all the zeros on our display left side is hour and right side is a minute as you know we made all the connection as described earlier all the segments to the port b pin 1 to 7 and on pin 0 we have connected decimal point we also connected cathode pins to the port c pin 5 to 2 respectively we connected our switches to the port d pin 7 and 6 now see the setting of the clock left side is r and right side is a minute we set it for 1059 so that we can see the changes for our clock 5 volt power supply is needed so we connected it to the 5 volt power supply in our next video we will try to understand how to program our microcontroller for our clock for our clock we can use microcontroller 8 mega 328p 8 mega 8 8051 any pic series microcontroller so many other microcontroller available in the market we can use please ask me any query or give me any suggestion if you have
into the comment section and share my video to your loved ones like this video and subscribe my channel thank you